and welcome to Drinking in Canada. My name is Guy coming to you from the east side of Ontario, Canada because the bus got off camera. We saw, I saw this at the LCBO at the checkout counter. This is, I, I know this. I actually had this before at the brew pub with the albino rhino at, on tap. But this time is in a can. So I'm very curious. This is, this is, this is. So this is from Barn Stormer Brewing Company. There's like a group of like a yeah, big rig, you know? It's like that. Cool. With a lot of taps. Their beer is very Shiny good. taps. Good, really good food. All natural, accelerated stall. Accelerated stall. Oh, like a airplane stalling, I guess. Exa accelerating and stalls. Stall. Like the Spitfires when they went to like a high, much high, they would just stall. And then what, right. they, what but, they would do after. But it, was, it has a modern jet on it. Mavericks double IPA. It's 8.4. 8. Ah, it's strong. This got us got excited. In the yes, pants. I am very excited. But we're both not wearing pants, so. It doesn't show. So, right? This time? <laughs> for now. For now. Barry, Ontario, Canada. That's the same day we went to Muskoka Brewing and. Hmm. The need for beer. I feel the need, the need for beer. I feel the, oh, it's repetitive. I feel the need for beer. I feel the need for beer. That's what it says. I'm telling you. Cool. The one like the, the people who crafted that beer must be like. Um, What's the movie uh, with Maverick and Goose? They mostly top have Top Gear. It must be Top Gear reference, right? Oh, top no. Gun. Shh. Top Gun is even better, but... I'll show you the video. It's inside. They have mostly old World War II, like old airplane airplane parts, or propellers, stuff cool. like that. Oh, inside? Really? Yeah, that's nice. Um, really cool place to visit. It's a clear yellow big head. It's a big head. Like I don't want to smell too much. Right. Go ahead. Take it all be. You got a lot ahead. Well Raider called me so on Sunday we might go to Airshow and get you know, the airplanes. We might go to cool. Airshow. Might wow. bring, I should bring my camera, I think. I'll yeah. try. You should. <laughs> He's like, it's at 9 a.m. Well, maybe I, I can still drink on Saturday night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so someone's gonna miss an air show. <laughs> oh, I got n nice, sexy, like, floaty clouds, but that's gonna be hard to see in there. If you, you have to look through the light, it's like really awesome. I don't know if yours is the same, but. Oh, wow, yours? Nice. Yeah, I got the drags. You got the, yeah, you got the, you got the jet fuel. Smell. But there's no chun. But it says unfiltered, right? Yes, it said unfiltered, but it's, there's no, no chunks, no. More grapefruit than the sweetness, and the orange sweetness. Lots of sweetness. Lots of sweetness. Sweet. Pine in the back, very far in the back. Oh, far, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's very candy-esque. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this one. Ah, oh, I was expecting more hoppiness. Pine, grapefruit, and citrus. In that order. It's smooth. It's in the palate. It's smooth. It's almost, it's not exactly a burn, it's just like the fumes are really, I like that. But it, it keeps the taste going. For a know? double IPA, I was expecting more. Uh, but it stops in the palate after there's no more no more burn. It's stalled, just like they said on the can. You're right. It says it's like a spitfire. If it goes like this, it's okay, but if it goes too much at a 90 degree angle, the engine would just... Well, shit, sure, I like this oh, one. Shit. I like it. Just like a spitfire going up. To you know what? It stays in the palate. It stays there, and then it goes it goes away smoothly it stalls in the palate yeah, I like it 
but I, I like the after, after pine taste. There's a tad bitterness. Just a tad. Just a. It stays. Yeah, there's bitterness. It's an aftertaste. It's nice. Um, but it's super smooth for 8.4. It's like medium, almost a full mouthfeel, but not quite there. So taking that into effect, uh, I'll go 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. Be, ah, be full body higher. I go up. I go up there, but yeah. I go 7.9 because 8.4 is. I was thinking eight, but no, there's just a. Uh, it's not strong. It's not strong enough. Right? It's stalled way. Mm. It's stalled too early. But I like the way it's stalled. <laughs> it's it's in your mouth and it stays and then it's like smoothly goes away. It's weird. It's good and smooth. It is smooth. Oh my god. If you chug it a little bit, it's even more amazing. I know, it's in your face. I like and it. If you chug it, it's an 8. 8 out of 10. Wow. Did not expect that. That's way more pine. I love pine. Yeah. If you're not sure about the beer, chug it a little bit. I like it. Wow. Here's Radar's opinion. Go. Uh. Pour it in. Go. Fast, fast. It's not really a strong smell. There we go, just drink it. Yeah. Mm, not bad. For a double up, we got pine. Citrus is a sweet. Yeah. Man. Lemons are really sweet, eh? It's not as good as the um, Dominion Brewery double IPA. Would you guess? But I still, I still like it. It's uh, very tasty. Would you guess it's an 8.4? No. <laughs> no, not at all. I was like, this is actually pretty good. Thank you, this is a good 8.1. Yep. 8.1 out of 10. There you yeah. go. Ah, it's wooden. Good job. Seriously. Totally. 